Hey guys, uh, Leif here from ATEC uh, Office Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to install a printer driver on uh, the new uh, Windows 10. So if you've got a Konica Minolta Biz Hub and you've uh, uploaded or upgraded to the latest Windows 10, this is what you need to do to uh, add, the, uh, add your printer. So we're going to go into the uh, Internet Browser in Windows 10, which is uh, a new change from the Internet Explorer. It's the uh, new Project Spartan. And uh, we're going to go to open that, uh, go to the Konica Minolta website. So I'm going to go there. Uh, I'm going to go to, um, this is the Australian uh, Konica Minolta website. We're going to go to Business Solutions and Support and Downloads. We're going to go into Drivers and Manuals and this is where I select my driver to download so I want to do the web download to make sure we've got the latest driver so I'm going to select Office in the Product category uh, the printer I'm going to install today is a BizHub C224E, so I select the appropriate um, driver from the list. Uh, then I'm going to select the operating system. Uh, Windows 10 is not listed here yet, so I'm going to select Windows 8 64-bit, because that works uh, with uh, Windows 10. And uh, I'm going to select the appropriate uh, printer driver here so I'm going to pick the one at the top here the PCL driver and I'm just going to let that download uh, and uh, once that's downloaded we're going to open that okay there we go I'm going to view my downloads uh, I'm going to click on open folder and because this is a downloaded uh, zip file uh, I'd like to extract that, so right click on my download, extract all, click on extract, and wait for that to finish. Okay, so now I've got the uh, latest uh, software or printer driver, I'm just going to close all that, get back to my desktop and now I'm ready to add the driver so the only other thing I need to know is the IP address of the printer and uh, so let's just get right into it I'll right click on the start menu go into my control panel I'm gonna go to uh, uh, view devices and printers I'm gonna go to add a printer So click on there uh, I don't want to use the automatic uh, searching for drivers, so I'm just going to click on the printer that I wasn't listed. I'm going to select uh, to add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name. So I'll select that one, go next. Uh, I'm going to change this. I don't want to auto detect, but I'd like to use TCP IP device. So select that. I'm going to type in the IP address of my printer. So 192.168.2.151 is my uh, IP address. By the way, you can check this IP address on the on the Konica Minolta device itself by going into utilities and device information. That'll tell you the IP address. So we'll type that in here. I'm going to uncheck all this automatic uh, selection and click next. Now it's asking me to select my printer from the list and uh, previously we downloaded the printer driver so I'm gonna say have disk on here. Uh, I'm gonna go browse. I'm gonna select to look in my downloads folder so I'll select downloads and there we can see my download is there and this one just note that this must be extracted as we did in the previous step so I just drill down into here 
I'm gonna select Windows 64 here because I've got 64-bit operating system and open okay and there's actually two drivers in this package uh, we're gonna select this one here this could be a little bit confusing because the model that I'm trying to install is IC224E uh, and that actually falls under the banner of the 364 series because the the, there's some multiple models within this series. There's the, the, the C224E, 284E, as well as the 364E. They all fall under this model. Whereas this next one here is the uh, 454 and 554 under that one. So, but um, this is the one we're going to select. Click Next. Uh, and I'm going to modify the name here slightly to reflect the printer model that I've got installed so I just put in put it in like that to avoid any confusion about the model numbers click next uh, click yes to the user account control wait for the printer to printer driver to be installed uh, I can have the option of set the set as the default printer I'd like that and I would like to print a test page also close, finish, and there it is. I've now installed the uh, printer driver on uh, on my system, which is uh, here. And uh, that's it. You're uh, all good to go.